Hello everyone. So in previous video, we have seen the arithmetic pipeline. That is one approach in pipeline. The second one is instruction pipeline. Now, in instruction pipeline, it reads consecutive instruction from memory while previous instruction are being executed in other segments. So basically, we are overlapping the phases of instruction. So the instruction fetch segment can be implemented by FIFO buffer. So instruction that comes first that will be executed first. So whenever execution unit is not using memory, the control increments the program counter and read the next instruction. Right? And it reduces average access time to memory for reading instruction because we are overlapping and at the spare time the instruction are fetched. So these are the phases of instruction, right? Six phases of instruction. First, fetch the instruction from memory. Second, decode the instruction. Third, calculate the effective address. Fourth, fetch the operands from memory. Fifth, execute the instruction. And sixth, store the result in proper place. So first we will fetch the instruction. After fetching that instruction, we will decode the instruction, means which operation we need to perform that will decode. After that, we will calculate the effective address because there are different different addressing modes that are possible, right? As we have different addressing modes. So next is calculate the effective address mode. Then next, after calculating that address, fetch the operands from memory or it can be a from register. Then execute the instruction, right? Perform the operation that we want to perform on uh, your operands. Then store the result in proper place. So after executing the instruction, you need to store that result. So we will store that result. And right? so these are the six, uh, six different phases that are possible in instruction while we execute instruction. Right, so we can reduce those phases because suppose assume the execute phase takes 60 nanosecond and uh, uh, calculate effective address it takes 10 nanosecond. So and other are 20 around uh, 20 30 around uh, 30 nanosecond. Then the remaining time that is going to be wasted. Right, so it is advisable to a combined uh, phases of instruction. So how you can do it? So a register mode instruction does not need an effective address calculation, right? Two or more segments that require memory access at the same time, it causes one segment to wait until another is finished with memory. So though you have divided it, but as uh, both are required memory access, they cannot perform parallel memory access. So uh, then also they need to wait. A memory conflicts can be resolved by using two memory bus for accessing instruction and data in separate modules. Because suppose while you are fetching instruction, you will get the instruction from memory. While you are fetching the operand, right? At that time also you are accessing memory. So when some instruction is in fetch operand phase, it cannot uh, fetch instruction. So as a solution, what you can do? You can resolve this conflict by two buses. One is for memory bus and another is accessing instruction, right? So they have proposed a four segment instruction pipeline, right? So first is FI, fetch instruction, decode, fetch operand and execute, right? So fetch instruction is the segment that fetches an instruction. Okay, <clears throat> then decode is the segment that decodes the instruction and calculate the effective address. So in previous, the second and third, that uh, phases they are combined here in segment two, right? Third is fetch operand is the segment that fetches the operand, and the last is ex that execute the instruction. So here in execute instruction. Right after executing instruction, you will store the results. So they have combined those uh, phases, 
right fifth and sixth so these are the four segment instruction pipeline so see the flow chart of it this is segment one this is segment two segment three segment four so what happened fetch the instruction from memory decode the instruction if there is a branch because there can be a branch in instruction right program control instruction that changes the program counter so that is called a branch which affects your pipeline pipeline means one by one you are executing the instruction but in case of this program control instruction they will change the flow right so it will affect the pipeline we will discuss that thing in next video so if there is a branch you need to uh, change the program counter right and empty the pipeline whole pipeline you need to empty because in pipeline you have a next instructions but the program counter as we have changed the value of program counter it will update or it will move to some another instruction right if there is no branch and sequential execution is going on then you need to fetch the operand and after that execute the instruction right after completing the instruction it will check whether there is interrupt or not if there is an interrupt the interrupt handling will take place and then update the program counter and empty the pipeline and it will solve that interrupt if no again it will go for next instruction right so this is timing of instruction pipeline right this shows the steps or you can say time this shows the instruction instruction 1 2 3 likewise and phases of or segment of those instruction so instruction 1 at step 1 it is in fetch instruction phase at the second step at the second step right the instruction 2 instruction 2 that is in fetch phase and instruction 1 is in decode phase at step 3 you can see that instruction 1 is now fetch operand phase instruction 2 is now in decode phase instruction 3 is in fetch phase right at step 4 your instruction 1 is in execute phase instruction 2 is fetch operand instruction 3 is in decode phase and instruction 4 is in fetch instruction phase right and the and this way they will go on but when this third instruction this is a branch instruction this is a branch instruction so after decoding that instruction we come to know there is a branch right means you need to update the program counter so as per flowchart we need to empty the pipe so after this whatever instruction we have will uh, empty the next is after completing that branch after executing this instruction 3 when you complete it again you can start fetching the instruction next then decode fetch operand execute likewise for other but whenever there is a branch we need to empty the pipe okay so in next video we will see the conflicts that occur in instruction pipeline thank you